Good morning. Our first reading this morning is a version of Psalm 144. Many of these later psalms refre reflect a deep connection with creation and an understanding of a God that is present within us and within all of life. It is unfortunate that this is it is unfortunate that this way of seeing God has been sidelined so often in organized religion. Perhaps it is time to embrace this God within more completely in our time, even as we now know that God is the heart of the entire cosmos. Reading Psalm 144, selected verses from Psalms for Praying by Nan Merrill. Blessed are you, O Radiant One, you who are hidden within our hearts, even as we are hidden within your heart. You invite us to participate in the divine unfoldment as we awaken from our long sleep and give birth to creativity. Open us that we might recognize the divine in every life and become sensitive to all we meet along the path. For you are the breathing life of all, the infinite and internal within our hearts. Let each one be receptive to the spirit that inspires, allowing our will to respond with action. And may all judgments and denials be released, that our souls are free to serve the light with joy. Thus we will recognize oneness with the divine spark dwelling within our hearts, fanning it to illuminate the way. Gratitude and inner peace will abide in every tranquil soul, blessing the universe that cares for us. Our second reading is from Michael Dowd's book, Thank God for Evolution. Like the psalmist of old, he is saying that we need to open our hearts and our minds to be in mutual relationship with the universe that we are a part of. We need to not just know the story of how we came to be here, but we also need to find ways to allow the great story to change our lives and how we live in the world. Reading from Thank God for Evolution. For the universe story to become our story, amazement is not enough. We need to feel relationship. We must make a connection sprout an umbilical cord to the cosmos. What out, what out there can offer us relationship? Simply this, ancest ancestral stars are part of our genealogy. We can now know and feel a familial bond to the heavens. Every atom in our body was forged in the fiery belly of a star who lived and died and recycled itself back to the galaxy before our own star, the sun, was born. We are made of stardust. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks, Madam.